Hi, um, Tony from Farmore Coy. You go out for the day, up uh, well, an hour or so away into Milton Keynes to see your granddaughter. And what'd you come back with? I'll show you. Yeah, it's more fish. Right, got to get them floating, so I'll come back in a little while. So I just got to uh, let them climatize for a little while, and it might take a little while because uh, they've had a hour and a half journey back by the time I went back to my daughter's and then set off for here, which is an hour away. Um, so I've no idea what the temperature of the bags are now, but um, they were in a polystyrene box which helped. So uh, I'll just uh, let them uh, get to an even temperature with the tank and then I'm going to empty them out into a bowl and then I'm going to net them into the tank because I don't particularly want um, their water in the mine. But uh, they look as if they've travelled quite well. Got one gin rin and um, four ordinary scaled. Gosh key. Right, be back in a while. So this is the first two. Uh, come round here. Jin Rin. So I'll just pop them in the tank and I'll show you the other three. And uh, this is the other three. So I'll just pop them in the tank and then I'll show you them all in the tank. Be right back. So there they are. Got to let them settle down. One's got a bit of a split dorsal but I don't know, not a drone like it. There's a fifth one oh, yeah, over there. It's obviously 
not mates with the others. Maybe it's because this one's got this Jinrin pattern. Jinrin scales, I should say. But it's not so matey with the other four. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure they're fine. Oh, there he goes. He'll join his mates. That's the five of them. Pretty fish. Been in them bags for I don't know, probably two and a half hours, but um they seem quite happy anyway. Here's the, uh, you know, the culprits. scale I don't think has got any better but I don't think it's got any worse feed so ferociously but I don't think my filtration is actually keeping up with it so I'm afraid I've got to lay off it a bit wait till the spring either to have the freedom of a bigger quantity of water. Just go back to the others for one more time before I leave them alone. This is the first time I've bought any fish for, oh, I don't know, years and years. Um, which is a slight flip because I do buy uh, two to three week old fry. That's all I've bought really over recent times. Um, but uh, anyway, no idea who the breeder is. They are. Um, supposedly Japanese but they didn't have any information on their background so but um, lovely fish something about having a single colour in, a, in an aquarium but I think some people even go for a single species in a sometimes don't they? some go for single colour maybe various colours but 
but colour. Um, some uh, go for a particular species, maybe a pond full of uh, kahaku. But um, it does look nice. But I've already got a good old mix in my pond. Okay. Well, as I say, go and see your granddaughter. Uh, visit a garden centre. Uh, incidentally, she's uh, she's only nine months old, Florence. But uh, go to a garden centre, have a bit of lunch with the family, and uh, you walk into the uh, local um, aqua centre. It was Maidenhead Aquatics, and um, you come out with some fish. <laughs> Wasn't intentional, but there you go. Um, when you see them, you can't resist them, can you? Anyway, um, if you've been enjoying any of my videos or this particular video, please uh, like and subscribe and share. I'd be very pleased if you would. And um, thank you to all those that have already subscribed. Um, and thank you to all the channels I've subscribed to and um, enjoy your videos. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, it just fascinates me. Um, anyway, that's it for me today. Um, so thank you all very, very much. Bye for now. See you next time.